So another big fight, the co-main event this week. And you're going to see a lot of Brazilians on this card. Obviously, it's in Brazil. You know, it's going to be a big fight night because people have been begging for the UFC to go back to Brazil. And you got a stack card full of Brazilians in basically every fight. And two of those Brazilians are the Bonfim brothers. Gabriel Bonfim and Israel Bonfim. Both are very good. But in the co-main, you got Gabriel Bonfim. One of the brothers taking on Nicholas Dalby. So they're starting to work their way up into some tougher fights. So let's get to that prediction right now. In the welterweight division at UFC Fight Night, you got Gabriel Bonfim taking on Nicholas Dalby. Now this thing is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Bonfim, Brazilian. He's coming in at 15 and 0. Dalby, a worthy opponent though. He's 22 and 4. Bonfim, two inches taller at 6, 1. Dalby's 38, Bonfim just 26. So one guy leaving his left his prime, one guy in Bonfim getting ready to enter his prime. So it makes for an interesting fight. Bonfim over six significant strikes per minute. Uh, Dalby right at four. So a slight advantage there, or well, really a nice advantage. It's like 30 significant strikes different uh, difference over the course of the fight for Bonfim. He also lands a, about a takedown and a half per round. So over the course of the fight, you're looking at four takedowns potentially where Dalby just gets one in the course of the fight. Now, Bonfim, 100% takedown defense. That's that's very helpful. Undefeated in the UFC, right? He's 15-0 overall. Has won all three by submission. Over Trevin Giles, Munir Lezez. So, he's doing his thing. But again, Dalby's pretty good. 62% takedown defense. That could be a problem. He did beat Muslim Salikov by decision. Won a split decision over Warley Alves and beat Claudio Silva by decision in his last three. So he's rolling a little bit. And Dalby is really good, but Bonfim is just better. It's in Brazil. He's Brazilian. It's going to be a big night for the Brazilians, even in this one. I think Bonfim wins. He's faster on the feet, better on the ground. And with the really good Brazilian fighters, you see that all day, every day. And it's hard to go against them, especially at home. Bonfim wins, uh, in my opinion here, welterweight division, UFC fight night. Yeah, so that's how we have that one. We got Bonfim winning that fight. And it should be not an easy win because Dalby is really good. I mean, Dalby uh, is a really good fighter. So you can't count him out. Make no mistake about it. But this is a fight that Bonfim uh, has got to win. He's coming in undefeated. He's looking good. And, you know, you keep giving these guys a step up. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is a fight uh, that he's got to win. Must win. And then you got uh, Ismail Bonfim fighting as well. So you got both of the guys fighting. Again, it's in Brazil. So what do you expect? You're going to get a lot of Brazilians on this card. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height, yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, Step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.